Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I hope you're good. I hope everything's fine. And check this out. So we have a project that I'm working on and uh, you know, for today we are going to be making a waffle shaped wooden ceiling. All right, uh, right here and uh, right here. So we're going to be making one of them, a waffle shaped wooden ceiling. It's going to be a fun project and uh, let's quickly get started. So first of all, let's go to families. Let's open up our curtain panel uh, based of template and uh, let's press right here. Let's press you and let's change this to millimeters. Let's go to two decimal places. Let's press OK. Let's press OK. Let's click on our main, uh, you could say our panel. Let's go for one meters by one meter is fine. Check this out. Now, uh, you know, let's click on um, this connection right here. Let's go to create form and uh, let's make our initial box. And, uh, you know, now, um, for example, let's go to control Z. Let's do that again and uh, fine. And, uh, you know, let's change the, the offset of this into a controllable parameter, right? So this is going to be the the solid, um, solid offset uh, positive, right? Solid offset positive. It can be any, even other names are fine. After that, let's go to our top view. Let's go to reference. Let's go to rectangle. Let's go. Let's give it an offset of 100 because we need a void in between. Let's click on that. Let's press space bar. Let's press OK right there. Let's go to modify. Let's go to wireframe. And oh my God. I've been speeding things so much. Let's click on that. Let's go to void form and uh, let's make our void. Check this out. So let's try to increase this a little bit and uh, let's click on realistic and check this out, guys. So this is our void and it's made already, all right? So let's try to come here. Let's press on tap. So this is our void and now we even need this to, we need to change these values to a controllable parameter. So this is gonna be the void um, positive offset all right void void positive offset and uh, for the negative one it is again going to be um, the void negative offset here you go void negative offset okay okay uh, perfect now let's go back to our families and uh, you know one thing is for sure right that uh, the positive offset and the solid both of them has to be the same so control C and uh, control V and in this case for example if you go to 10 if you go to apply and um, if you go to minus 10 and if you go to apply so check this out our shape is completely parametric all right and I think 10 is fine if you go to apply and check this out so this is our completely parametric waffle now let's load it into the project and uh, you know in this case let's try to simplify things let's press H two times and uh, it will hide temporarily hide that element let's go to H two times two times and uh, fine all right um, okay uh, and uh, fine all right so now let's go to our top Let's go to masking inside. Let's go to in place mask. Let's go to close. Let's press OK. Let's go to uh, all right. And uh, this is our main space. OK, let's uh, go to wireframe, in fact. And uh, let's go to rectangle. Let's go to um, reference and rectangle. And this is going to be level one. Uh, you know, we can even change this later on. That's fine. So let's try to paste our slab. And uh, you know, let's press H. Okay, let's just paste it right here because we cannot see the walls right here. But fine, I'll fix that later on. Uh, let's press H R. And uh, yes, these are the walls. So tab right here, and uh, to the to the left, 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 right, and uh, tab right here, uh, and uh, down, 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 down. Here you go. Check this out. So this is our. Um, you could say our main uh, it is completed now in order to you know change uh, the reference plane of this we just cl simply click on that and we go to right here and we pick point and we pick the bottom of our slab here you go all right very easy nothing hard then after that let's go to create form and let's make a, a normal you could say solid mass let's click on that uh, divide surface and uh, let's click on this point right here let's change this to fixed distance let's change this to fixed distance and you know let's change this value into a controllable parameter right which is going to be the pattern so this is going to be the the what the u g r i d nothing very hard to understand right and uh, in this case this again is going to be the new this is going to be the v r v g r i d okay okay and uh, now let's click on that and let's change this to 1000 and uh, 1000 let's press ok and uh, very easy and now let's just go to let's paste in our family so our family is family number three 
and uh, let the loading finishing and check this out guys so our completely beautiful parametric ceiling is complete already let's go to consistent colors and uh, how are we gonna see this properly so this is it there yeah, uh, all right um and uh, for example for example all right let's go to our headline and uh, so check this out um you know first of all do we need to all right let's go to finish mass first uh, mass again sight and uh, turn this off here you go so this is our waffle ceiling and uh, you know let's go to h or uh, hh two times and uh, hh two times and uh, let's go for this one right here hh two times and check this out so this is what i was trying to make this is going to be our wooden ceiling all right uh, now it's better if you press hr and everything is going to be back so now um now the next thing is uh, you know let's go to level one right here and uh, we also need some ceilings and some lights all right let's go to wireframe mode right here so that we can see it all right we cannot see it all right now we can see it and uh, let's go to ceilings right here let's go to sketch and uh, let's just sketch our ceiling so from this point uh, no we need a rectangle so from this point to um, to all right uh, this point right here and uh, let's press ok now ceiling is selected let's go to edit let's go to uh, duplicate and uh, ok and let's go to edit let's go to preview so this is our ceiling so you know we do not want our ceilings to come in our renders right so delete and uh, for the materials let's go for for air or something that is not visible a i r and uh, come on so this is air replace and uh, air air right okay okay so now it is completely air and it is not gonna um, appear and you know the purpose of adding the ceiling was that i wanted to add some lights right so components and, uh, let's go to let's click on the desk and uh, let's go to load family so lightning architectural internal ceiling lights right here and uh, let's go to wireframe mode and we are in our ceiling plan all right remember so let's just paste it in between let's go to edit and uh, so this is our light right so let's go down right here let's change the color to slightly blue isn't it So check this out guys and our completely parametric uh, waffle um, wooden ceiling is complete right and these are the lights in between I kind of uh, you know fast forwarded this part because the videos are getting too long and they're just airing it all over the place but uh, you know this is it right so this is our final uh, parametric um, ceiling for example if you press HH right here and you guys can have a better look so let's even hide this right the bottom part and uh, this is it guys and uh, so I'm going to include the final renders in the end and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned um, something from this. All right, take care of yourself and bye-bye. Uh,